friends to WPSU's virtual summer camp as we explore all about global arts. My name is Sarah Hamilton and I'm the Education Program Manager with WPSU. Today's an exciting adventure as we're going to explore our own backyards. And what's close to my backyard in State College are two amazing arts organizations, the Makery and Belfont Art Museum, and they're going to share with us about Imagination Celebration and how you can be a part of that celebration from wherever your backyard is. Hi, I'm Lori with the Belfont Art Museum, and summer's a great time to visit the museum. Every summer, we host our Imagination Celebration, where we not only invite you to come in and view art, but we provide opportunities for you to do art. And this summer, we're partnering with the Makery of State College, and together, we've provided several art projects for you and your family to come in and participate. And this summer, our theme is all about climate. We're going to touch on some environmental issues, provide ways for you to become more responsible, and create a better home for us in the future. So let's head inside and see what you can expect to find here at the museum this summer. Hi, our first stop as we enter the museum is our special exhibitions gallery where you'll find our Beautiful Earth poster contest consisting of 45 images submitted by local community members. We reached out to our community asking them to interpret their thoughts and feelings about our planet and their hope for the future. This exhibition will be on display during the summer months of June, July, and August. When visiting the museum, you'll have the opportunity to vote for your favorite posters. Remember, you can vote for as many posters as you like and as many times as you wish. At the end of the summer, the top four vote winners will receive prizes. Try creating your own environmental poster design by using photography, painting, drawing, collage, whatever supplies and materials you have lying around. Interpret your thoughts and feelings about our planet and create your own poster design. While visiting our main gallery, have a seat, grab some fabric markers, and design your own reusable tote bag. This bag is yours to take home with you and hopefully use to reduce the impact that plastic bags have on our environment. Our next stop is the Seed Gallery, where you'll find Evangelical Environmentalists, a series of collaged portraits by Amy Frank. Amy is an emerging mixed media artist. Her colorful, whimsical portraits and landscapes are created using ephemera and small daily details from the people and places she paints. For this year's summer theme, Our Beautiful Earth, Amy's work will celebrate people who have made important contributions to protecting our planet. Next is our 24 seven display window, featuring an upcycled, whimsical world. This space is unique in that you view this installation from outside the building 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Artist Lisa Cousins has filled our 24 seven window with a colorful installation that follows nature's design and promises to make you smile. Old furniture comes to life and wrapped in a blanket of moss sprouting with playful surprises and objects of art will be blooming under the light of a joyful upcycled floral chandelier. Hi, I'm Amy from the Makery and we're here at Belfont Art Museum. We're so excited to be here all summer for Belfont Art Museum's Imagination Celebration. We took over the top two galleries and made them into fun, interactive activity spaces for you and your family. This is our It Takes a Village room where we'll be creating an upcycled village of dollhouses from all sorts of stuff that you might find in your home or um, kind of in your junk drawer. So uh, come, on, come on in and um, I'll show you around. Over here you'll find a giant table of every art and craft supply you could want. And you'll notice that most of it is, is things that you might have around your house, bottle caps and um, old clothes pins and old Play-Doh containers and lots of fun fabric and yarn scraps. We'll use those materials to make something really special, something from your imagination made out of recycled materials. And then we'll add that to this, our community village where we have lots of houses and that you'll see there are already some really fun things inside these houses. We have clothespin dolls and we have 
tables made out of buttons and um, rugs made out of yarn scraps. So really this village can include anything that you can imagine. Once you've chosen your supplies in our It Takes a Village gallery, you'll come on over to this space and put those supplies together in any way that you can dream of. And we have lots of colored pencils and markers and glue and tape just to kind of to pull everything together and then you'll add it to our village. And I can't wait to see what we can all make together. This room is our uh, Wonderful World Wishing Wheel Gallery at the Belfont Art Museum. And in this room we're making wishing wands from natural materials and some things that we probably already have in our homes. And we're using those wishing wands to make this collective art display. These wheels are pretty empty now, but shortly after you and lots of your friends have been here, they'll be filled with these really sweet wishing wands that are made from, like I said, different things that you might be able to find around your home, and the most important part, your wish for the world. And we'll each make one of those and include them in our giant wishing wheels, and pretty soon they'll be full of all of our wishes for our community and for the whole world. The supplies you might want to use include a branch, a scrap of fabric, some yarn. We also have some wire and beads, or you could use string and beads. And we have a wish tag to um, put our wish on our wishing wand at the end of our project. Now I'm going to be showing you how to make a wishing wand, like the ones we'll be making in our wishing wheel gallery at the Belfont Art Museum. Now the most fun thing about wishing wheels and wishing wands are that there really are no rules. You can use materials from your own home uh, to make your wishing wands in whatever way you like. But I'll show you a few ideas of how we're making ours. So I have my branch here and a ball of yarn. And I'm gonna start by just wrapping that yarn around the stick. Just slowly wrapping, wrapping. It's a very relaxing, fun thing to do. We'll just continue wrapping that. You can also use paint if you don't have yarn in um, your studio at home. When I'm done wrapping that yarn, I'm just gonna tie it off and then I might use some fabric as well. I have a really pretty piece of fabric that we had left over from a um, project that we did at the Makery. So I'm gonna tie that onto my stick. Again, I'm gonna wrap my stick in a little bit of that fabric and you just kind of slowly Move, wrap the fabric and move down the length of the stick. And when you get to the point where you want to be finished, you can just tie it off at the end. And so you kind of have a few different colors. Lastly, you might want to take some wire or you can also use thread or string and wrap that around your wishing wand so that you might be able to include some beads. We have some fun beads that we found around the makery and we brought here to the Belfon Art Museum. So I have a pink bead and another pink bead and a yellow, lots of different colors. I'm gonna make a rainbow because that's always my favorite. And a gray bead, so a little rainbow here. I'm gonna slide these down the length of the wire and wrap them around my stick. Isn't that kind of fun? And I'm just gonna to continue to wrap that wire around my stick. And lastly, I have a little tag here that has my wish for the world. And I think for my wish, I don't know if I can tell you because it might not come true. I'm gonna string my wish onto our stick and finish wrapping it. And then our wishing wand is ready to hang in our wishing wheel gallery. I hope you make lots of wishing wands at home this summer. And I also hope that you come and join us at the Belfont Art Museum. Uh, the Makery is really ready to welcome you into these two really fun spaces. Um, we hope that you'll make wishing wands and wishing wheels with us, and we hope that you'll contribute to our upcycled uh, village and um, view the wonderful displays that we have downstairs. Uh, we're really looking forward to a super fun summer. Thanks.